you for visiting my channel. If you do enjoy the message, please like, share, comment, even subscribe. So let's just get a message. Let's get a love message for the collective. Let's see what's going on when it comes to love. Let's see the messages. What is going on for the collective? So we do have commitment. It says, I want you to be a part of my future. We do have dishonest by lying or ripped us apart. And then we do have chemistry. It says, I've never felt a passion this intense. So you have somebody that wants to come back to you. And we do have at the bottom reminiscing. I miss, I miss our inside jokes. So yeah, this person is really missing you at this time. They wanted you to be a part of their future, but their lies really got in the way. But they do feel a deep connection to you. But they know by lying to you and hurting you, they're really messed things up between you two. So let's see what else is going on. Ancestor Spirit, guys, please give me clear messages. What are the messages? Ancestor Spirit, guys, please. So we do have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. So yeah, you probably found out about this person lies. So now you could be just healing from these lies that this person, that you found out about this person. It says love at the bottom. It says unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Like I said, this person does have a strong feeling to you. This person is very passionate about you. Let's see what else is going on in this love situation for the collective. So we do have the runner here. So runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So this person was the runner. This person was thinking with ego and not emotion. And they were running from this connection. So we do have the sword and the rose here. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Like I said, some truth came out about this person. I don't know what the truth was, but yeah. Something came out about this person lies that they were telling you. What are the messages here? But they still are attracted to you and they still want to be committed. They want to come back in and maybe marry you or have some type of commitment with you. They think that you're a soulmate. So it says soulmate here, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Like I said, they want, they feel a strong tie to you. And they do want you a part of their future. But this is a separation. This is a breakup with this axe card. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So you left this alone. You broke up with this person. You left this alone. You stopped the pattern of believing in this person, wanting to marry this person, and things like that. You stopped the pattern of believing that you were going to have a committed relationship with this person after you found out whatever you found out. What else is going on here? Okay, so addiction. We have codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block restraint. So this person is very addicted to you and codependent on you. You know, they find it hard to release you. We have palm tree here, stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility. So they really thought that this relationship had some kind of endurance. Like no matter what you guys went through, that you guys would always come together. Come back together, I should say. Anything else? You're this person's addiction. It's like they're really possessive over you. They obsess over you. Okay, so we have hand of cards here. Take a risk. Being strategic options, not showing hands, taking a gamble. So this person wants to take a risk and come back in. They want to come back in. And they even gambled with you. Yeah, look, wedding ring here. Union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So yeah, like I said, look at this. Commitment. Yeah, they want to marry you. They want to come back in and marry you. But they're not showing, they, they're not saying that, out, you know, out of their mouth. That's what they're thinking, though. They don't want you to know that. You know, they're never going to show you their hand and tell you, hey, I want to marry you. They'll just keep trying to play games. What are the messages for this person? What are the messages? This person is a big time game player. 
messages. Anything else? Is there anything else for the collector? Okay. Let's see. Not today. It says not dealing hurt, avoiding conversation calls, person, boundaries, still angry. So you're not dealing with this anymore. You don't have time for this person's games. They want to be a runner. You know, they want to be with you. They want to obsess about you. They feel passionate about you, but they lie. Look at this. The golden mirror here, self-absorbed narcissist, one sided relationship, love bombing. So they want to come in and just tell you, oh, I love you, you know, like you're just the best thing, but they didn't treat you like that. Let's see. What do we have here? We have hammer, sabotage, rebuild, uh, integration, repetitive, persistent working on it. So this person likes to sabotage, then come back in and try to make it work and just a back and forth. You know, we can work on this, you know, that kind of stuff. The time is up. It says clock here, need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal and progress. You're ready to move on to something better. You're ready to progress. Time is over for this person. Like you've had enough of this back and forth and you know, I want to run, then I want to come back, and just all this foolery this person has going on. Anything else for this person? And we have mirror here. It says mirroring, mirroring each other, self-image, relationship, reflect our wounds, in, reflect our wounds in introspection. Yeah, like you guys are mirroring each other. You know, they feel like if you don't call, then they don't call. If you don't say I miss you, they won't say I miss you. Things like that. It's like a game to this person, but they do miss you. They have a nostalgia. They probably look at old pictures and things like that, but you're going to be making new memories and it won't be with this person. Let's see. Anything this person would like to say before we end this? What does this person want to say to the collector? What does this person want to say to the collector? oh here we go <laughs> it says i can't express myself so this person's like a kid they feel like they can't express themselves properly and things like that you know they'd rather just be silent and make you be like a mind reader or something it says i can't talk to you right now you see they play games they can't express themselves they can't talk to you you know they just want to keep you in confusion let me see okay and then it says i wish to be like you so this person sees that you're strong that you're moving on and you're no longer playing their games anymore it says how could you ever forgive the mess i've made you'll probably forgive this person but you'll probably never forget you know just because you forgive somebody doesn't mean you have to be back with them let's get one more for this person what else does this person want to say to the collective oh too many <laughs> okay so we have the passion is too much. Like I said, this person is very attracted to you. They still want you. And it says, I can't take it anymore. Yeah, they probably can't take not being in your energy, not being around you. You know, they miss you. But they play too many games. And again, they want to know how could they, how could you ever forgive them for the mess that they made? They know they made a mess of this relationship. They know they really wanted you, but they didn't want to treat you like that. They wanted you to feel, you know, like you were unworthy of them the whole time they were un unworthy of you. So I do hope that you enjoyed the message. Thank you.